Hey everyone, I'm Alicia and today I'm joined by Brian Weber over at Weber Automotive. And for this week's blog, we're discussing the check engine light. So mm -hmm. I'm sure most of us know by now that that light comes on and it there's so many different reasons that it could be coming on. And sometimes when your check engine light comes on, it's kind of scary because you're like, oh no, what's wrong? Is it urgent? Is it an emergency? Should I get right to a shop or what, you know? So Brian, you're gonna kind of tell us a little bit more about that check engine light and what, what some of those things are. Yep, absolutely, thanks. Yeah, the dreaded check engine light, nobody likes to see that for good reason because usually when the check engine light comes on, there's a problem and it's gonna cost money to fix. Um, right. But it's important, uh, it, that, that comes on for a reason. You know, these cars nowadays are rolling computers. There's multiple computers that talk to one another um, and they don't have different malfunction indicators for every single problem in the car. So there's thousands of possible issues, potential problems that can make one light come on. Uh, but what that light does is, is it tells you uh, the, the vehicle does monitor itself uh, to many degrees. And if there's a, a problem with, with some of one or more than one of the systems that control that vehicle, it throws a light on that basically uh, informs the driver, hey, there's an issue here. Something's not working the way it's supposed to. It's out of parameter. You need to get into a facility so it can get, get that off so it functions the way it's supposed to again. Um, there's Now there's, there's, there's a check engine light that comes on. Most of the time, that's what it is. There's also a scenario where the check engine light flashes. Um, and if, the, if a lot of people haven't seen that, but if, if the check engine light comes on flashing, that means it is in a uh, catalytic converter emission damaging situation. When that when the vehicle's running, that light is flashing, you are damaging your catalytic converter. And they're very, very expensive and they're not getting any cheaper. So hmm. what that means is you shut that vehicle off and, and tow it to the repair facility. You don't drive it to the repair facility, tow it there because it's doing damage while it's running, while that light's flashing. Now. If you're in a if you're in a situation where if you pull over and you stop driving where you are, your your safety is going to be a concern. Your your safety comes before the vehicle, right? So you get to a place that's safe, shut it off, and then have it towed. Uh, but but uh, the check engine light flashing is a damaging situation. Check engine light on means that one or more of the systems is not operating the way it's supposed to. You should still get it in as soon as you can. Okay. Great. Well, thanks for diving into that a little bit. I, I don't know that everybody necessarily knows about the blinking. Like you said, a lot of people might not have, have ever experienced that before. So I'm glad that we covered it today. If you're watching this right now and you ever experienced that, make sure you keep this thought in the back of your mind. And if your check engine light is on right now and you know you need to get it serviced, give Weber Automotive a call. You can set up an appointment. You can ask any questions that you have. Um, make sure you're checking out the rest of the website too. You'll be able to see our weekly blogs that answer questions and talk about similar topics to this. And that is weberautomotive.com. Thanks again, Brian. Thanks, Alicia.